Hey Unity Crown, nice to have you. In this demo tutorial video, you'll see Race Tools in action. Race Tools is a set of tools aimed to equip Unity with the full power of resolution-dependent, pixel-perfect vector graphics. A fancy way of saying that you can have the same smooth 2D graphics that you get in Adobe Flash right inside the amazing Unity development platform. All but one of the Race Tools require the Race Spline component one of the best sellers of the Unity Asset Store. Ray Spline allows you to add it to the vector data and turn it into anti-aliasing, GPU-accelerated polygons, all in real time. Ray's Tools builds on top of that, bringing Ray Spline to the next level in terms of power and flexibility. To get us started, let's check the long-awaited SVG importer SVG in. SVG is an open, industry-standard file format for vector files. SVG files can be opened like any image file by modern browsers, like Firefox and Chrome, and there are many free SVG libraries available on the Internet. Let me show it. First, let's grab an SVG file and drop it to our Unity Project's SVG Files folder, automatically created when you add Rage Tools. Now we create a new game object, and add the SVGN component to it. Let's fill in the file field by dragging the SVG file object to it and click import. Presto, the SVG file is imported with all its styles and layer structure intact and converted to Rage splines. At the end of the day, Rage splines are always rendered as regular polygon meshes, and having control of how many polygons each of your shapes have is always a necessity especially if you're developing for mobile platforms like the Android and iOS devices. To optimize your imported files, you can simply change the minimum and maximum density values in SVGN. If they're different, the component automatically engages its adaptive density mode and makes the larger shapes use more points and polygons than the smaller ones. Race Tools SVGN is compatible with a large subset of the SVG format as detailed in the docs and has been tested with both Adobe Illustrator and Inkscape-generated SVG files. Now, the imported SVG files will generally import as multiple different Rage Spline components, and working with these components one by one is too tedious and not practical at all. Enters the Rage Group component. Rage Group is actually the heart of the system. Most Rage Tools components use its list as a reference to what shapes should be affected, and what are their default parameters. By itself, Rage Group allows the tweaking of multiple Rage Spline parameters at once, like anti-aliasing and vertex density. By simply enabling the Group Tweak option, the artist can interactively fine-tune how smooth or crisp he wants the anti-aliasing to be, how segmented or faceted the curves of the item shapes should be, and even adjust them proportional to their base levels, very useful if you've hand-tweaked individual Rage Spline values or if you enable adaptive density before importing the shapes. Usually, after importing and getting the look of your vector art just the way you want, you want to move it and rotate it around. The problem is that imported vector files use the corner of the original canvas as its pivot point, that is, its rotation center. Pivot Tools to the rescue Pivot Tools allows you to move the pivot point of your vector drawing to either its geometric center using the default option or to any user-defined position by simply pointing to a second reference game object. And what if you have imported some art to serve as a GUI element, like a button or health icon, and want to have it centered or docked to a certain screen edge. If you try to position it manually, you lose resolution independence, you'll be needed to force a certain output resolution so that your visual elements keep where they're supposed to be. A much better option is using Canvas Align. It allows you to align any element, be it a standard polygonal mesh, text mesh, or a full-blown rage text, coming soon, to either a corner, side, or center of the display canvas, no matter how large or small it is. To define its container area, 
Canvas Align employs a standard Unity Box Collider, disabled so as to not affect performance. Box colliders can be easily and interactively edited using Unity's default Shift shortcut and the on-screen handles. Last but not least is Rage Add Tune. That one is the guy responsible for keeping your vector graphics 100% resolution independent and pixel perfect under all circumstances. By default, Rage Spline has fixed settings for anti-aliasing width and vertex count, which defines how smooth the shape's curves are. What this means is that the anti-aliasing width that looks good when you define it in the Unity Editor becomes blurry as soon as the game runs in larger resolution displays. To add insult to injury, curves that look perfectly smooth in the editor might become two-faced once your game is deployed and runs on the latest Android tablets. Instead of wasting time building multiple resolution assets for so many different possible screen resolutions, let Edge Tune work that all out for you. Edge Tune makes Rage Splines alive and aware. As soon as you click on Initialize, it memorizes the current look you've defined it, considering Unity's view. Thereon, as soon as you turn the component on, it starts to dynamically adapt to any screen output resolution shape, scale on screen, and even proximity to the camera in case you use the perspective view type. That's it, Adobe Flash behavior with the added bonus that you can precisely customize exactly how you want your anti-aliasing to look, even fake depth blur, instead of being stuck to a single anti-aliasing preset. You can find Rage Tools in a Unity Asset Store near you, and be sure that it doesn't stop here. More amazing, production-proven components will be released for both this and other packages. Some of the components already on beta test include a vector sculpting animation tool, Rage Magnet, and vector GUI components like the automate text rendering tool, Rage Text. Watch out, scale form, Rage tools is coming for you. Cheers!